Hey guys, my name is Noria and welcome back to my channel. This video is long, long overdue, but basically it's a part two to my Livia review. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out up here or down in the description box below where I give you my first initial thoughts of using the Livia device and basically well, my journey through using it for the first few times. Uh, now, if you guys don't know, because if you want to watch that video later, you Livia device is basically the on off switch to period pain. And you guys saw I did a well depth and uh, review on that. And I basically got asked somewhat of the same questions. And also someone asked me if I could do a six month uh, update video. It has clearly been over six months <laughs> and I apologize, but life, but I'm doing it now. So first thing out the gate, there are three in my house. I want to turn them on on I'm going to turn them all on put them up to speed so you guys can clearly see they are all on hopefully you can see that they are all on and glowing uh, these two are the ones I bought I was sent this one after my review as a thank you so thank you Olivia for that a um, couple things I wanted to address just off the initial video and I have my list here because in case I forget uh, one of the things that was just said by one of the I don't know just one of the people involved is that the device doesn't blink it like turn off or it'll stay on they've all been on for about the same amount of time the initial two that I have they are clearly blinking <laughs> So don't know what product you saw, but the ones I have blink. I'm used to it. I don't care now. This one actually just stays on, which I don't know if it annoys me more or less. I don't know. But my originals blink. The new one does not. It's not a big deal. I don't care. I just wanted to point out that I clearly saw these blinking and I was right. Turn those off. Hopefully they're off. Still haven't figured out quite the battery lifeline yet because my body is weird and sometimes I don't need a lot of uh, pulses, sometimes I do. So I get probably like a good day, not a full 24 hours, but like a good day of like different um, speeds. So do with that information as you will. Um, what else was asked? What else? Um, one person asked that asked me to do the video. I'll try to find your comment and put it here. Um, basically she asked, did my body get used to it or do I find that I always have to up the uh, power when I do it? And the answer is no, my body has not gotten used to the device mainly because it is pulses, you do what, what you need. So sometimes my body is happy with me and I really have to use it. Sometimes it is full blast, I'm laying on my stomach with the heating pad crying on my side. Sometimes I just, sometimes it's not enough, but it is enough to help in a sense. There are other times where I am in pain, I will turn this on to like a medium or light setting and I'm perfectly fine. So no, my body does not get used to it. My body is just trying to kill me. So yeah. Any, what else? Um, I do have issues with one of my devices. I want to say it's this one. The charging is fickle. Again, this was like the first one, like kind of the first launch through. Uh, I haven't had an issue with neither my sisters or the second one that was sent to me, but this first one, for some reason, the charging is never accurate. I could charge this for a full day. I'll wear it for like 10 minutes and then it'll die but then I'll recharge it for like two hours. So with this one, it says, I think in the book that it charges in like two hours or something like that. I don't, I can't find the paper, but it, um, you get a full charge in a couple hours and you'll be set. I did that with this one and sometimes I get a full charge for, you know, expected amount of time. Other times it lasts literally five minutes and I'm like, where did the pulsing go? Okay, did the pads fall off? No, the pads are still there. The device is just off and completely dead because you can tell when it's charging because the light that shows, this will keep going up. It'll, like how you see it, go up. Hopefully you can see it. Go up, it will do that as it charges. And then once it becomes a solid line, it's done. So I would wait till then. I would put it on. 
and then 10 minutes later it's dead and so that was frustrating so getting in the third one was a godsend because i couldn't steal my sister's if she was using hers yeah um what else what else what else mm -mm -mm. i was asked about the gel pads that's a big one they're like okay i'm already spending all this money on the device why do i need to keep replacing the gel pads so i'm going to show you my gel pads so again they're little flowers you have the adhesive and I don't want to do this because my hands have lotion on them but as you can clearly see they are sticky that sticks to you i recently replaced yeah i recently replaced these because again your body your body oil you know your lotions that you're your natural body oils your lotion that you're rubbing in you touching the pads and putting them on and off ripping or taking this on and off it's going to lose its adhesive. These are adhesives. They're going to lose their stickiness. They're going to have to be replaced. Now, I think in the book, it suggests uh, change them every cycle. Um, seeing as I'm the only one who uses my flower pads, I am going to use them until I cannot use them no more. So basically how I do mine, a pair, if I do it well, will last me roughly two and a half cycles maybe three full three if i push it and like wear the proper pants so the first month i'm normally good they're sticky nice and tight i'm feeling what i'm supposed to feel the second month maybe they start to look a little grayish or not as clear and basically i would just wear shorts that would cover or will, any bottoms i would just wear that it would sit on the flower pads to push it down especially if i know i know i have it on a high setting and i'm not really feeling it by the two and a half cycle by the third halfway through the third cycle i may notice that these are completely useless <laughs> or like before it's not as powerful as it was before and i would just change either depends on what day of my cycle if, if i'm past the torturous part i will just keep these pads on and just wear high-waisted keep everything pushed in if i haven't passed my roughest days i will clearly take these off and put new ones on and so i do suggest if you do buy the device or if you um happen to um be purchasing some of the gel pads so just go ahead and get like a year supply i guarantee you if you uh do it right you can make them last longer than a year so i just advise with these um if you aren't in that much pain and can take the time to like uh, get a warm cloth or to just wipe the oils off your stomach where you're going to apply these it will definitely save you in the long run and you can definitely get multiple uses out of these now if you are sharing these i yeah would not probably suggest that i would probably say change them out more often but if it's just you i see no reason why you need, have to change these every month just change them when they absolutely no longer stick um what else was I asked I don't think I was asked that much oh I did get asked why would I suggest these the more expensive ones over a tens device and personally at the time when I bought these I knew nothing about the company I just knew I was in pain I didn't even know about a tens device until I think months months after I already had put my uh crowdfunding into this and I was just waiting for the product to be released so by then I already spent my money. I already knew what I was getting, was not gonna try to find something else. And then they ended up sending me another one. So I'm like, okay, now I have three. So they asked, would I ever do a review for a tens one? I thought about it and honestly, no, I don't feel like I am, unless I happen to just come across one for like dirt cheap or someone I know has one that I can use and do a review. I do not see myself getting one just to review because I've already spent enough on these devices and because I already have so many of these devices and for me they work that being said someone did uh was nice enough to comment underneath her post and share her experience I'll put it here and also you can just check out at the bottom of the video there's not that many responses to this video the initial video so it should be easy to find but basically she said that she has an actual tens device but it's not as portable and discreet as the Livia. now i'm pretty sure there are discreet tens devices and unlike or yes you can probably put those in more spots but you are at least able to 
put these on your stomach if you need to you can put one on your back the other day it was just one side of my body just cramping it was my lower back on my left side lower belly on my left side and I literally just went you can't see but I pretend this is my back that is my back though but pretend that's my side and this is my stomach I literally just put it like this I felt the pulses it felt great so granted I don't get that long of a you know section to fill the pulses but it works it is discreet and I mean for the price I paid yes it's kind of expensive but I feel like in the long run it works and then even then Livia is really good with their customer service and I think even now or at least the last time I checked do not hold me to this because I do not know actually before I even say anything I'm gonna go check right now but even then I will not hold it against me because this video may not come out for another week but I'm gonna go to mylivia.com and I'm gonna look to see if they still have yep as of right now they still have the sale for 20% off two-year warranty 120 days back guarantee you get 120 days to figure out if this device is for you or not so that is roughly I can't do math you get at least minimum three cycles maybe four depends on where you where you land but you get a minimum of three cycles at least to test out this product to see if it's for you and if you don't like it you can send it back so I think that's awesome and overall my opinion is still the same I still love this device is it a cure-all heck no especially for someone like me who has very bad period pains occasionally or even all the time depending on how much my body hates me or how much I haven't been treating it right with junk food but that's besides the point <laughs> I like it and it works for me and it works for my lifestyle if someone has less period pains and more just like occasional cramps they may get a total benefit from this or they may even be able to get away with one of the smaller tens devices that I, they have a few that are like for the low back and stuff I just haven't seen anyone specifically you know targeted for petite I'll save that for more petite bodies but there's definitely some I've seen some in Target so definitely don't knock them if you want something like this and you can't afford this one that's fine they like she suggested tens devices are the um, next best thing you just may or may not get that discretion you're looking for but overall I would still suggest this to any and everyone who goes through those pains um, yeah, I have nothing I have nothing bad to say about the Livia device. Yeah, I had some hiccups with the first one and I had the option to send it back because, you know, I had my uh life my guaranteed for it, but they were nice enough to just send me a new device after my last video that I didn't feel bothered and I'm like, I'm not just gonna ask for another device because I have enough and there's only two people in this house who need them, so yeah overall I still love it I would still recommend it and I don't see myself hating it anytime soon that's pretty much all I have for this video so again if you have not watched the first half of this video my initial review for the Livia device check it out I'll link it in the in the description box down below if you guys happen to have seen my last video and may have bought the device and or have a friend experienced it let me know in the comments below how do you feel about it if you have any more questions also just let me know I will answer them the best I can or try to find those answers for you so I will see you guys in the next video I hope this was helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not part of the randomly Noria family please it helps me and way YouTube is going I, I need all the help I can get so I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.